everyone and yesterday I participated in a very cool event. I played in a semi against Grunches tour team, which included Magnus Carlsen, Wesley So, Richard Rapport, Levon Aronian, MVL, Bogdan Daniel Dea, Radislav Wojtaszek and Anish Giri. There was also two other players, Jan Krzysztof Duda and Kirill Shevchenko, but I didn't get to play against them because the game ended too early. And here is a review of the game. Let's go! So Magnus played the first three moves. He started off with one B3. Interesting opening choice, but I was I was kind of waiting something like that from Magnus. On other boards he played e4, d4, c4, but I wasn't super surprised. I replied with e5, he played bishop b2 attack in my e5 pawn. I of course played knight c6, oops, I of course played knight c6 protecting the pawn. He played c4. Here I, I'm not sure, I think he was not sure what to play, because he was, uh, I think at the start he was about to move the d-pawn, then he was about to move the c-pawn, and then he was about to move d-pawn again, and then he was about to move c-pawn again, but he played c4. I'm actually, I was very surprised when he was, uh, when his hand was about to play uh, with d-pawn, because I wasn't sure. I know, yeah, c4, knight f3, or e3 is somewhat popular, I mean, not popular, these are the main lines, but... Yeah, I was very surprised because I'm not sure d3, but then I have d5, I got the center and I would be fine. And d4, yeah, it's just a mistake because I can take, and if he takes, I take, takes d5. Of course, material is equal, but I have like bishop e7, bishop f6 ideas, and I'm much, much, oops, and I'm much, oops, oops, <laughs> and I'm much, much better. So yes, d5, uh, and I'm better, but okay, he played c4. Ah, uh, yes, I played knight f6. Yeah, Magnus made three moves and then the other players came. Then uh, then Richard Rapport played knight f3. I played e4. I was, I'm pretty sure Richard knows more or less how to play these positions because uh, I think one of his main opening moves is c4. So, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I thought he, would, he knows how to play, and yes, he did. Uh, he played knight d4, because otherwise, I wasn't sure what else he could have done. Because knight g1, I go d5, I'm striking in the center. I mean, after six moves, look, my I developed my knight, my queen, and yeah, and they just... Uh, they just developed the bishop. So yes, knight d4 was the best move. Uh, I played bishop c5. Perhaps not the best move, but yeah, I think it was pretty fine. Maybe I had to go like g6. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. Then bishop g7, castle, like d6. Yes, it was fine, but I decided to go for bishop g5. Uh, and yes, because if, if they play e3, then I can just take take, play d5, and then I'm very, very fine, I have more space, and position is very good, uh, but yeah, I decided to castle, and yeah, um, they play knight f5, I already don't remember who made the moves, I just remembered first the uh, people who made first moves, and then who made last moves, but I don't remember, I think it was either Levon Aronian or Wesley So who made knight f5, of course it is, I'm pretty sure, the best move, otherwise I would get this d5 and I would be fine, I still played d5, and the only move for them is c takes d5, and they played it, because otherwise, if, let's say, the knight moves, I just get d4 with the idea of d3, I have so much more space, and I'm just totally winning, then, yeah, and then they took, I took, and here they made a mistake, which was knight h6. Yeah, I don't know, I was very, very nervous uh, during this game, because, yeah, I thought maybe I miscalculated somewhere, uh, because, yeah, okay, computer says the best move is knight to g3, yes, it's understandable, and then knight e5, knight c3, okay, I take, takes, takes, but then I think there is queen e2, and then this, uh, wait, uh, this, uh, no, wait, wrong color, this pawn is going to be weak, because the knights are aiming at it, so, yeah, it is pretty cool and they would be slightly better. Okay, they took. I played king h8. I didn't want to take because then they would take and then, yeah, my king is very exposed. It would be very scary. I played king h8. Uh, then, I don't remember who, but I think it was MVL. Played bishop c4. Uh, it was actually a huge, huge blunder. Uh, they had to take on f6. It was the only move to keep more or less fine position. Then I take knight c3. Queen e5, 
I want to protect my pawn. The knight here on h6 is somewhat stuck, but it is fine. They would play bishop c4, bishop e6, and then after f4 position would be more or less fine. And yeah, I'm still slightly better because I think of this knight. But they played bishop c4, and here I played queen g5. Very, very cool move. I With my queen I attack the knight and the pawn. Look, and yeah, it is pretty much a fork. Uh, yeah, bishop c4 is a blunder. I because I thought, okay, I have queen d7, but what is the point of that move, right? I, I'm not threatening to take the knight because there is bishop f6, so they can just take, play f4, and they would be better. So I decided, why not just play queen g5 and see what will happen? Of course, I calculated that after knight f7, which happened in the game, I can simply take, take and queen g2, and then I was like pretty sure I'm totally winning, right? Because the rook hangs, yeah, and there is no good way to protect the rook. Okay, there is rook f1, which was played, I think, the only move. Because if king e2, then just have bishop g4, and after king e1 only move, there is queen h1, there's just checkmate. So they played rook 2 f1, and then, yes, uh, I was already pretty sure that I'm winning, but... Uh, I wasn't sure which move was more precise. I think, first of all, I wanted to play bishop h3. I was sure I'm winning there. But then, I wasn't so sure after, so sure after bishop to c4. I thought I'm totally winning because after queen e2, it's a new variation. I have knight before, right? With the threats of knight d3, knight c2, and it should be winning. But after bishop h3, I saw this bishop c4. Of course it is winning, but it didn't feel as smooth as I thought it could be. And yes, I played knight to b4. There was another move, which is bishop to g4. Uh, attacking the queen, and if the queen moves, then you play knight b4. With a threat of knight d3 checkmate. And if bishop c4, you just check. He takes, takes, and bishop h3 and mate. Yeah, but I played knight b4, with again the threat of knight b3 and then bishop to g4 checkmate. Oops, I drew the arrow not correctly. Yes, yeah, so bishop d4, that would be mate. They played bishop to c4, then I played knight d3, I think bishop c4 was pretty much the only move, otherwise, yeah, knight d3, I'm winning. So bishop c4, knight d3, takes, takes, and look, yeah, I, I was like sure that I'm totally winning, but I was still not sure, because maybe I missed something, but yeah. My threat is bishop to h3 and then queen of one because the rook is hanging and that would be mate pretty much, right? So, yes, okay, there was knight c3, but after bishop h3, they have to sacrifice a queen and yeah, then I just take, I'm, oops, I'm totally winning, right? Because I mean, I'm a queen up and for no compensation at all. They played f4, then bishop g4. And yes, I calculate a very nice line because after rook f2, I sort of like, oh well, okay, let's see, I, I can even just take and I would be a piece up. Of course, maybe not the best thing, but I'm at least a piece up and there is not nothing too much for them, so I thought I would be winning. But then I calculate that after rook f2, I have queen h1 check, rook f1, and play queen h2, and now if they move the queen, it's mate, and if rook f2 again, I don't do I don't make a draw, I play queen h1 and after rook f1 blocking from the check, I go queen h4 check, and after rook f2 now I just simply take the queen and I'm totally winning. So they played knight c3, I took the queen, rook d1, I played knight e4 with the idea to take the knight and then play queen e2 and mate. And then here Anish played knight e4 and then I played queen e2, and that is how I won the game in 19 moves. Yeah, when I played queen e2, I was so, so excited, because, yeah, I was super nervous during that game. It was a really exciting game, though. Interesting, very cool opening. Then, and then, yeah, queen g5. I'm really proud that I played queen. I, I went for all the d5 stuff. Yeah, I understood more or less that I would, something like that would happen. Because, yeah, I thought rook f7, okay, I'm gonna change down. But then, the light squares are super... Oops, uh, wait. Light squares are super weak, right? And then also, as well, here, light squares are very weak. And my bishop can get here. So I decided to go for it. And as you saw, it paid off. And, yeah, that's how I won the game. I was very, very cool and excited to play in that event. And, yeah. That is my first review of the game, uh, first ever review I've done of a uh, game I've played. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and yes everybody, take care, have a great rest of your day and bye bye!